bangers and mash. Before an event, I tend to eat eggs and porridge. My favorite meal out is sushi because it's something that I would never even know how to start making at home. The dish that I've inherited through my family has to be my grandma's chocolate cake. I always remember when we were kids actually baking it whenever we went to her house to stay over. I'm probably quite messy. Very messy. And you always used to argue over who could lick the wooden spoon or the, the bowl. And who like stirred and mixed the mixture. Yeah. But I always remember the end product. Normally it turned out pretty okay, Very but nice. it was always fun. We had dressed Tom up in a clown outfit, um, just for some fun, and then Tom decided to eat some chocolate cake. I got on my see, nose. Got How do you get on my nose? Everywhere. I think you definitely orchestrated some of that and put some chocolate <laughs> on my face because. Yeah. I don't remember that photo being taken. You were quite little. So I start the cake mixture with the wet ingredients and the dry ingredients. The dry ingredients being flour, bicarb, salt, and cocoa powder. When Tom lived at home and he was training every day, we all would sit and eat our main meal at half past four every evening because Tom had to be at training for six o'clock just so that we continued that family life in enjoying a family meal together. And then I add a little bit of milk with a little bit of vanilla in it too, and then I whisk it all together. When I'm away competing or training, I can be away for like two, three weeks at a time, and sometimes it can be pretty monotonous because you have the same food in the same hotel, and you, the first thing that I do when I get there after about a week is plan the first thing that I'm gonna eat when I get home. Thinking about what you're going to have when you get home sometimes makes you, you know, dive better because you're thinking about training and getting yourself through the competition so you can get home and eat your favourite meal. And once I've whisked it together, it's pretty much ready, and then I just put it right into the baking tins. Usually we put melted chocolate, like, just drizzled all over it, when actually this time I've got some chocolate buttercream icing, so... I think it's going to taste delicious. As I am an athlete, I'm not actually able to eat things like this all the time. I do have a terrible sweet tooth, but usually I'm pretty plain with what I eat. I'm a bit of a creature of habit, and it tends just to be chicken and vegetables. I tend to just experiment when I like to cook or like to bake. That's when I tend to do something that's a little bit sweeter. Baking is something that gives you the chance to just, you know, go a little bit crazy in the kitchen. My fiance does actually cook too, but he tends to cook things that are like deep fried chicken, deep fried steak. Pretty unhealthy for you, but it tastes, it tastes good. So he likes to cook the savory things and I cook the dessert. I hope in the future that I will be in my mum's situation and that I get to do baking and cooking and passing on the chocolate cake recipe to any grandchildren that I'm lucky enough to have in the future. You know, it's pretty magical for me, really, thinking about having, you know, uh, grandkids, kids, parents, all together in one room, gathering around a mixing bowl. Although it sounds pretty, you know, simple, things like that stick in your head and have memories for, for the rest of your life. The thing that I want to pass down is a cheesecake, or I should really say cheesecakes because it's not necessarily one cheesecake. There's so many different things that you can do. For me, like if I was doing a dinner party or something like that, a refrigerated cheesecake is the easiest. And because it's simple, then you can have fun with the decoration of it. And for me, I'm Union Jack obsessed. So I normally use, you know, raspberries and blueberries to make a Union Jack. The first time I remember trying cheesecake was in a restaurant in America and I was always so put off by the fact that it had the word cheese and cake together. I never could make sense of it in my head. But when I actually tried it, it was really good. It was like 
kind of, you know, changed everything because I used to think that I hated them. When I think about the Olympics and how scary it is to be on the end of the board and the fact that you get one shot every four years, I always think at the end of the day, there's always cheesecake, so life goes on.